Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey guys, it's here again with me, John. And Goose. Yeah, we're going to be covering another SCP, SCP today. Are you excited? excited? I am so, so excited. excited. <laughs> Sorry, just copying you. Yeah, uh, so this one is SCP-1048. It is a Keter. Uh, so let's go ahead and get us started there. Uh, special containment procedures there, Goose. Let what do you think? About this. All right. So it says uh, SCP-1048 is currently free to roam Site-24. As a business is no threat, it has been observed to greatly improve morale personnel that interest oh, that sounds pretty interact nice. with it. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Really just a sweet sweet SCP. Yeah. Except uh, that oh that's been crossed out. Oh god. Uh, so um uh, let's see the new oh, the no. new form here. Uh, let's see. Here uh, the whereabouts of SCP ten forty eight are currently unknown. Oh. Though it is still believed to be somewhere within site twenty four. Uh oh. <laughs> Subject is to be secured for containment. But with any creation of SCP 1048s, should be destroyed on site. Plural. Yes. Unless further evidence warrants less extreme actions. No teddy bears are allowed on site 24 to prevent any confusion or mistaken identity. Any object that resembles a teddy bear is to be reported to the security team immediately. Uh, and also, uh, this is not a joke. We have no idea uh, what SCP 1048's full capabilities are. Uh, who knows how many of the damn things are out there by now. That's a quote from Dr. Carver. Oh, nice. Uh, what's it Des look like? Uh, description. SCP-1048 is a small teddy bear, approximately 33 centimeters in height. Okay. Through testing, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities to make it discernible from a non-satient teddy bear. Subject oh. is capable of moving on its own accord and can communicate through a small range of gestures. Magic. The subject regularly shows affection to individuals in ways found endearing by most people. Yep. Affection is usually given in the form of a hug to the lower leg. But the subject has also been observed dancing, jumping in place. And in two separate events, it has even drawn childlike pictures for janitorial staff. All foundation personnel that have interacted with the mm -hmm. subject have mm -hmm. responded positively to its affection. Even D-class with normally sociopathic tendencies. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, attempts at direct communication with SCP-1048 have not been considered successful, though it is capable of simple gestures to indicate a yes or a no answer. It will often not react to lines of questioning concerning its nature or where it originated from. It is not known if this is because SCP-1048 simply does not know the answers or because it does not want to answer. Though capable of drawing pictures, it has not used its art as a form of communication beyond showing affection, even when encouraged to do so. There, uh, the more anomalous behavior of 1048 was not observed until approximately seven months after it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials, but a process that is yet to be observed directly by Foundation staff. Dr. Carver has suggested that 1048 uses its endearing qualities to lull those around it into a false sense of security. It's too cute. Oh, it's just too cute. <laughs> too cute. Allowing it to collect materials to reduce these creations. Currently, there are three known creations of 1048, designated 1048A, B, and C. ABC. The nature of these creations has been in stark contrast to 1048's general behavior, as all have exhibited extreme violence towards humans. Just like um, gremlins. Hey, it's just like Chucky. Like, I, I didn't see Chucky. I just know gremlins. Yeah. Well, we have to watch it one day. Child's does, does play. Does Chucky make other dolls? Uh, I think in the later ones. Cause, so, like, I think he makes a bride. Because Gizmo and Gremlins makes other Gremlins that are evil. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so let's see. Uh, SCP-8. Uh, SCP-1048-A was discovered wandering Site-24, accompanied by 1048. Uh, Subject resembles a teddy bear similar in size and shape to 1048 but is made entirely out of human ears. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. What the? What the? Does no one notice the ears went missing? I wonder. Right? Witnesses interviewed reported that it appeared SCP-1048 was giving a tour of Site-24 to A. SCP-A. Dr. Carver was called to the scene, along with the security team. 
the security team arrived first and attempted to contain SCP-8. Subject emitted a high-pitched shriek that inflicted intense pain in the eyes and ears of everyone in a 10-meter radius. Ear-like growths immediately began growing on those within 5 meters of the subject, covering their bodies in less than 20 seconds. Every person afflicted with this symptom died within 3 minutes, resulting in the death of blank personnel. It can be anywhere from 1 to 99. It's definitely 2 digits. Yeah. I'm going to say 11. Including the entire security team. Okay, uh, I'm going to say uh, 52 then. <laughs> 52. Yeah. Autopsies revealed the cause of death to be exfixiation. Exfixiation. Exfixiation, thank you. I was dying without like, oh, yes. to breathe. Oh, yes. Caused by an abundance of ear like growths manifesting in the mouths and the trachea of all victims. Yikes. 1048 and 1048A fled the scene before Dr. Carver arrived and have not been contained since the incident. Though so sightings of both have been reported on multiple occasions, shortly after this incident occurred, a researcher was discovered missing an ear. According to him, it was removed through unknown means while he was sleeping. No other victims of ear removal were found, so it is unclear if SCP-1048 obtained more ears from another source, or if it was capable of duplicating objects or materials. SCP-1048-B. Subject was discovered by several Foundation staff members in the cafeteria of Site-24 on blank. Subject's appearance was nearly identical to 1048, but it moved in an irregular, jerky manner. Witnesses reported that it appeared as if something was moving inside of 1048-B. Subject made no attempt to interact initially, until a burst in its seams revealed what appeared to be a hand and an arm of a human infant poking out and grasping at the air. At the sight of this, a female researcher named Blank screamed, and Dash B reacted by emitting a high-pitched cry similar to that of a human infant. The subject then attempted to data expunge the screaming researcher, causing massive internal damage. I and can, then suing guess what happened. In the ensuing chaos, a security team was forced to blank both the researcher and SCP-B. Approximately three hours after this incident, Dr. Blank was found unconscious and bleeding in her office. An abortion had been performed on her while she was sleeping, and the eight-month-old fetus was never found. Yikes. It is hypothesized that Dash... Uh, 1048 used Dr. Blank's unborn child to create Dash B. Information regarding the possible origin of Dash B is not to be leaked to the survivors currently undergoing therapy for the incident with Dash B, as Dr. Carver believes it extremely detrimental to their recovery. Oh, that's um, that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nasty, man. Pretty nasty stuff. Uh, let's talk about something lighter, like SCP Dash C. Subject resembles a teddy bear similar to 1048, but composed entirely of rusted metal scraps. See? It's much lighter. Yeah. Much, much funner. Metal scraps. The subject was first sighted on blank, 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 blank. Sounds blank, adorable. By Dr. Carver in his office while writing up a report on the Dash B incident. Subject fled from the room when it noticed Dr. Carver observing it. In an attempt of pursuit of SCP C, Dr. Carver witnessed the death and maiming of blank foundation personnel. One okay. digit, I'm going to say eight. Yep. As the subject exited extreme violence during its escape, Dash C has not been encountered since the initial sighting. It is unknown whether it still resides somewhere within Site 24. The origins of any materials possibly used to construct C by 1048 are also unknown at the time. Addendum 1048-1 SCP-2295 is similar but nearly unethical in function. And Antithetical? Uh, yeah, antithetical and function. To 1048, attempts to establish a common origin are ongoing. Extreme caution is to be taken if dash A or dash C are encountered again. I cannot stress this enough. The damn thing jumped right through those four people. Should they not have like a whole squad in there taking the care of these things that are loose? I think they should just burn down the whole building and start again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... Just burn it all down to the ground. It can make anything out of anything. So yeah. it's, uh, it's burn it. kind of a little dangerous burn to just it leave it. It's like, if you see it, just call somebody. Otherwise, we'll just keep working as normal. Yeah, just burn it all down. Oh, God. Well. Game over, man. Game over. Hit the nuclear button. I think this was a very light, fun. Yeah. Um, it's a very nice here. way to, to start off the episode. 
And I think it's a real. I think it's a real take. I think we need to go deeper into this. I think yeah. you know. I think we need to really turn our 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 